Today I actually got a video about a new tool that I just picked up. It's actually a, uh, a bore scope that you connect to your phone. It has a little camera on the end and actually has some LED lights uh, attached to it that you can kind of fish around and take a look at some things. I've always wanted a tool like this that I could uh, you know, get into some small areas and, and see some things that I can't put my eyes on directly. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't too expensive, it was about $20, so I'm not expecting the greatest things with it, but hopefully it works pretty well. So this is the box it came in. And this is what we're looking at here. So it's got a really long cable, and um, what's nice about it is that it, uh, it's got a wire in it too, so it kind of keeps its form as you're fishing it around. And um, it's a USB-C plug. So as long as your phone has an OTG capability or supports OTG, then it should work for you. I'm actually going to test it out today on my car. I'm going to be, um, I actually want to look at the turbos to see if these are the stock turbos that are in this car. I, I suspect that they are because this car was fairly standard when I bought it. I had the downpipe removed so that I can actually access the turbos from underneath. So my plan is to actually shine a light up in there and then use this kind of bore scope to look up there to see if the wheels, if see if the exhaust wheels on the back of them are either ceramic or metal. So let's take a look. All right, so I got this thing out of the box now and it comes with this uh, really long cable. And here's what I was talking about. So you can actually use this thing and uh, as you hold it, it should be able to actually go around corners or do whatever it is so it doesn't just droop. And you can basically bend it up and stick the camera basically wherever you want in order to make it work. Um, I'm going to plug it in here to my phone. It does not come with any software, so you have to download it. You have to download an app uh, to make it work. Yeah, we're going to plug this thing in and uh, give it a shot. See what happens. All right, so I plugged it into my phone here. I got this app running, and you can see I got the uh, camera here pointing over towards the car, and you can see the camera. Uh, is recording what I'm pointing it at. What's kind of cool is that you can actually touch this little button and it will rotate the camera so you get an idea of what you're looking at, what it's pointed at. So that's kind of cool. And then also um, right here this actually has a little, I have a little focus here. This thing has a wheel on it and that dial actually turns the LED brightness up or down. So if you're pointing it down into some place that's dark, you can turn the LED brightness way up. Let me turn it all the way down. You can see that the LED lights are off. Turn the brightness up. And you can see the lights come on. So that's kind of cool. Let me see if I can get an angle over here. So let me turn the brightness down. Basically off and then brightness up. Cool. Alright, let's get in there and see what happens. Alright, so this is the current state of uh, what I can see down here. Let me turn this light up so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. I got them stuffed with rags. I'm going to pull the rags out here now in a minute so I can look up in here and uh, see a little bit better about what's going on with the endoscope. Pop that out of there. Set the camera up, and let me turn the brightness all the way up. All right, I got this thing going. You can see that it's looking at it now. We're gonna go up in there and see what we can see. Stick this thing up in the front, up in here. Oh, it's getting tight. Can I, what can I see now? All right, now that is great. That is exactly what I wanted to see. I can see that the exhaust wheel looks pretty good, pretty intact. And I can also see that that is a ceramic exhaust wheel. So that looks like it's in pretty good shape though. You can tell by the bolt head that that, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see that that bolt head looking like that means that is a ceramic wheel. Actually, you know what? Let me. Let me see, the wastegate is right here. So you can see the wastegate is there, and then that is the exhaust wheel. Pretty cool. 
All right, let's check the front turbo. This is the rear turbo. All right. All right, so now we're going to uh, do the same thing on the front turbo up here. We'll take a look. I'm assuming since the rear, tur rear turbo is ceramic, the front turbo is also ceramic. But we will stick this up in there to see the condition of it. And it should tell us what we want to see, hopefully. Stick this up there. Hopefully this goes up. Yep. All right. So you can see this one too. Oh, come on, get up there. There we go. So this one, the front turbo, is also a ceramic turbo, which also looks in pretty good shape. None of the blades are chipped. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. That right there is the wastegate. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is the exhaust wheel on the turbo. Or the, yeah. That is the ceramic wheel on the front turbo. All right. Yeah, this thing's pretty great. Works out. Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, my car actually has the, I don't know if they're the factory ones, but um, this car, like I said, when I bought this car, was pretty standard, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't suspect that they're still the original turbos. This car has 165,000 kilometers on it so if they are the original turbos they look like they're still in pretty good condition uh, this car I don't think was beat up on at all I mean it still has the factory boost pill in 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 place um, yeah anyway if if you guys are looking for something like this a quick and easy tool to uh, be able to utilize to get around into some dark corners or dark areas of either an engine bay or even you know around your house uh, give this a try. I'll put the link down in the description as to where I bought it. It was off of Amazon. I think it was $20. I'll also put down in the description the app that I was using on my phone. It's worth mentioning that I have an Android phone, so I'm not sure if this works for iPhones or not, but I'm sure there's probably something compatible out there that'll help you. Uh, anyway, hopefully it's helpful for you. Give me a thumbs up if it is. Uh, subscribe, follow along, and uh, let's, get to back, let's get back to work on the GTR. See you next time.